In this review, we're going to cover the 17 Hornet 15.5 grain NTX lead free bullets from Hornady. And as you can see, we took a really nice bobcat on video, so stay tuned. Warning. This video contains images of legal hunting activities. If you are offended by these types of images, please leave now. As soon as I heard that uh, Hornady had released their 15.5 grain NTX, it's a lead-free bullet in their 17 Hornet ammunition, I went ahead and picked up some boxes from one of the online retailers. Um, it is shooting the 15.5 grain NTX at a listed 3,870 feet per second um, they list that out of a 24 inch barrel. So that's a couple hundred feet per second faster than their standard 20 grain VMAX. So we took it out to the range, um, did some range work. This is a three shot group, a little less than three quarters of an inch, but about the average that I was getting, um, even in the crosswind and everything. And as I was shooting uh, groups, a ground squirrel popped up. I ranged him at 187 yards made some corrections with my scope and went ahead and shot him and just one shot thumped him rolled him off the mound and as you can see the exit wound right there um, the bullet did pass through but it killed him instantly there's a close-up of him and then that is the rifle I'm using which is the CZ model 527 in 17 Hornet uh, the varmint with my Hawk panorama scope um, so what what I did is I took this out hunting and went ahead, obviously killed a couple ground squirrels, which you're going to see one of those videos right now. And then we have the bobcat hunt coming up, uh, which my cameraman Tom took while I recorded. Here you go. So real quick, let me pop in here um, while I show the close-up of the squirrel as I was walking up to it. This ground squirrel is about 87 yards away, and he was sitting on a wood pile, and I hit him, and as you can tell by the video, it smacked him really hard, killed him instantly. Um, you're going to see some pictures here of him next to some of the holes he was digging the alfalfa. And it was a big squirrel. It was over 2 pounds. I weighed it on a digital scale that I carry with me. So obviously the 15.5 grain bullet does well um, on small varmints, this one being two pounds, so I'm sure prairie dog sized varmints. And there was a pretty stiff wind going. Um, so next up, after a couple close-up pictures of the rifle and this squirrel, will be the bobcat hunt, and you will see how quick it drops that. And I'll come back then. As you can see by that video, um, the bobcat just dropped instantly. It was a shoulder shot and it entered on the left hand side. It actually, the bullet shrapneled and then part of it exited on the right hand side, the opposite side, um, but it did, did kill it instantly. It just dropped it. And here's Tom walking up to it uh, just to check if it's, if it's dead and set it up and stuff like that for some pictures. So. A lot of people ask me about bullet performance on Predators. When I do reviews of ammunition, especially something like this, which is 
a big predator hunting caliber. You know, the 17 Hornet's been around a long time before it became the 17 Hornady Hornet. And this particular bullet, the 15.5 grain NTX, has been in the past in Hornady's 17 HMR as well as their 17 Mach 2. So I wanted to show some of these close-up pictures. Here's the exit wound um, going out of the shoulder. And there's the entrance hole. It's a .172 hole. It's very small. And then you can see the damage it did to the meat on the entrance side. And it's just devastating. I mean, this bullet blew apart. It broke some bones. It completely liquefied the organs in there. And the bobcat was dead as soon as it hit the ground. And then here you can see the exit hole in the fur, which is about the size of a dime. And that's not bad at all. And even up there, you can see a part of the jacket um, that was left there right on the outside of the fur. I'm sorry, on the inside of the fur right there on the exit side. And then uh, lastly, you can see the exit side wound, what it did to the meat. So that bullet was still going pretty fast, still had a lot of energy left. And this size animal just dropped it. So um, please head on over to our website. I've got a full write-up with more detailed pictures that I don't want to post on YouTube. Um, as well as some information about ballistics and such like that. And if you want to hit the link on the left-hand side, that will take you to that article. The right-hand side is my original review with the CZ Model 527 and 17 Hornet. And as always, if you click right there to subscribe, if you're not subscribed already, we would appreciate it. And also like this video. That would be great. And we'll see you over on Varmature.com. Thanks a lot.